with them in the classroom. And then the homework is only examples, only small things, small sentences, something that they remember during the day, why the day, for the next class, they remember, ah, yes, I do this, I do that, something. But for me, it's better, no homework. I prefer the exercise, I prefer competitions, things in my class. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I don't, I don't like giving homework either. I really don't, I, I think. So what happened yesterday? Why you asked me this homework? <laughs> you know, it's because I have, I have to follow a guideline. You know, sometimes the coordinator observes me mm -hmm. and you know, one of the requirements for my classes is to give homework every day. It's bad, right? Because I'm, I don't agree with that. I don't think homework is necessary. Or maybe I can say, you know, listen to a song in English and read the lyrics. Or I'm going to send you an article about Black Lives Matter. Um, read the article, you know, some, something interesting, but I have to give homework from the book or something like that, you know? Okay, let because... me let me be honest. This sheet of paper, the last part, the second exercise. Come on, I don't I don't finish to understand what is the main purpose or what is only only what about this? Ah, it's complicated for me. I mean, I'm start to read it on the car, right? But <laughs> but it's not easy for me. And number two, exercise two. Yeah, the second, the second one. Okay, okay, yes. This one is like self-teaching yourself. It was kind of yes. difficult. Yes. Yeah, actually, I was planning to say something like that. Like, <sighs> like, <laughs> no, I. <laughs> what, tell us, Tanya. Oh, no, I was just trying to say something like that regarding to these homeworks on those kind of things, no? Because, for example, it also depends on the kind of students that you have, because there are some kind of students that likes to analyze everything. So once you give them this kind of thing, they start looking by themselves more information that they can find on the internet to, like, to finish, like, not just, how can I say it, like, to learn more about the topic, maybe. So that's what I also think. Yeah, you know, sometimes I wonder, do my students do that? <laughs> do they actually look at that information, you know, when they need it? I asked them and they said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know, I don't believe it. <laughs> it depends on the ages also, no, of the students. Because I remember when I was a student, like when I was like 15, 16 years ago, no? No, like 15 years old. So at that time you just go for the classes, you just like, for example, just listen what they say and you just stay with that information. But once you grow up and you have like more objective, it's like when you start to be more like independent and try to learn also more by yourself. So it also, I think that it also depends about this kind of, the kind of student that you have. That's true, that's true. I, I agree. The younger ones are not as responsible. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's begin. Complete the questions with the continuous form of the verbs, then answer the questions. Okay. Number one, if you and your classmates were trying. Trying. <clears throat> we're trying. Very good. Easy peasy. Number two, if you hadn't been Working. Okay. Hadn't been working. If you hadn't been working so hard, what would you have done differently last year? Number three, if you were thinking. Were thinking. If you were thinking about giving to a charity, what organization would you choose? Why? Number four. Uh, if you were planning. If you were, no, number four. Oh, four. Yeah, what would you do if you were walking down the streets and you see excellent. a homeless person? Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. And number five, it is work planning. Not being planning. 
No, it's work planning. Work planning? Work planning, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So the first exercise was easy to you, Tanya, right? Yeah, it was fine though. All right, good, good. Well, did you answer the questions or just completed the questions? No, I just completed the question. Okay, oh, okay. I didn't answer. <laughs> right. Well, let's, let's improvise. <laughs> let's improvise here. Tanya and Michelle, ask each okay. other the five questions. Try to, try to include the question in your answer. All right? Okay. So if you so. and your classmates were trying to raise money for a good cause, what would, how would you do it? Then you can say, well, if my classmates and I were trying to raise money for a uh. good cause, we would... Da -da -da -da. Okay. Okay. For example, if me and my classmates were trying to raise money for a good cause, we would wash cars. It can be like yes. for getting money. Exactly. Wash cars at a shopping plaza. Yeah. Okay, yeah. How about you, Michelle? Okay. If my classmates and me were trying to raise to raise money for a good cause, we would um, we would we would um, selling things of second Yes? No? You, you would sell things? Sell things. Selling things? Sell things? Yeah, you would sell some yeah, things. Sell things. Okay. Sounds good. Sell your house. <laughs> Number <laughs> two. Can you ask each other the question? Okay. Uh, Michelle, if you had not been working so hard, what, do you, what would you have done different last year? Um... Probably a good, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay for my lost. Okay, that's very <laughs> outside the box. <laughs> okay, you're talking about the this part? The, the first part. The first part, the first yeah. five questions, right? Yes. Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> can, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah, we're on these questions right here. See, you had to complete the questions and then you had to answer the questions. I don't think you answered them, but right now we're just, you know, improvising the answer given your personal response. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay for my, my gym. She wouldn't have paid for her jeans. Okay. How about you? Hey, Tanya. Uh, Tanya, if you hadn't been working so hard, what would you have done definitely this last year? Um, if I had not been working so hard, I would have traveled around the world. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay. Continue. Okay, uh, Michelle, if you were thinking about giving to a charity, what organization would you choose? Okay, um, I'm not sure what kind of 
or organizations exist in this country, but definitely, 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 de how you say definitely? Defin Def definitely. 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 Okay. Defin no, I can't. Sorry. Uh, no public um, public organization like Teleton or those kind of organization are bad for me. So I decide to, or maybe I need to select one. Like um, I'm not sure. Maybe the North Fund. Or certain religions have organization for charity. So maybe I want to select one in the in the religion, in the Catholic religion. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about you, Tanya? Mm, I think that if I were thinking about giving a charity, I would choose one related with kids with cancer or something like that, but I have to do research before choosing which one. Okay. Ladies, continue. I'm going to go get some water. Okay. So, okay. Michelle, okay. what what would you do if you were walking down the street and you saw a homeless person? I would offer some food, something for eating, or something for dressing. What about you? To be honest, at this moment, I don't think uh, how I would react, you know, about depending on the situation. So depending on the situation that I'm living at that moment is the way that I would react. So I cannot be telling you exactly right now. Yes, it is true. Some people, when you offer something, they don't think in the same way that like yeah. you. Some, some people don't accept yeah. the things that you give. Sometimes, for example, yes. if you try to help some people, they even like react rude. So you yeah. may start like shouting and those things. So you never know. It depends on the situation. So depending. let me tell you <laughs> that some some one day many years ago, somebody knocked my door and asked for something, and I offered some food. So mm -hmm. when I go out, I saw the food in the same plate. That guy don't touch anything. Yeah. So, they always ask for money, ask for other things. No, they don't accept. They don't accept. Things. Yeah, those things have happened a lot because sometimes people are on the street asking for money for stuff for the school, no? And you offer yes. to buy those things for them and they start like shouting for those things. So They are, they are um, a huge organization. If you yeah. saw it on the park, they joined and yeah. eat it together and then they go every every corner for us more yeah. money. Yes, and I say, come yeah. on, God. they yeah. earn more money than us because yeah. they don't pa they don't pay taxes, they don't pay anything. Always yeah, that's money. true. Yeah. Sometimes you even see the same person every day at the same time. So Le let me tell you, when I visit other other cities like Puebla Veracruz, I saw the mm -hmm. same people in those different places and I say, yeah, oh, how these people is here and then in other uh, state, for example, Puebla. Yeah, they are over there. How they work for pay that? I'm not yeah. sure, man. They don't yeah. pay taxes. <laughs> so we need to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Tanya, uh -huh. last one. If you were planning to help your your community, what will you do? Mm, this is a hard question. <laughs> if I were planning to help my community, I would, for example, if I'm some part of some religion, some, if they ask me what I can offer, I think I would try to teach English to the kids or to even to the teenagers. So that's something that I can help them. Okay, what about in my you? case, in my case, uh, so close to my house, the government mm -hmm. um, 
put some buildings like at school, mm -hmm. but those buildings are empty. Nobody wants to know any any schools wants to take those those classrooms. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm starting to ask with the people, and I say, if you permit it, I can put a small school there, maybe mm -hmm. a English class, maybe because I know a lot of things. I know to do a lot of things. So maybe can offer for the community those kind of classes, totally free, yeah. because always I'm here. So it's maybe three, two minutes. Yeah, it's close. I say I can do this for my community, but nobody wants to do, nobody wants to touch those buildings. So, okay, I'm still here. But yeah, so to give my classes, sorry, it's not my plan now. So, yeah, in that moment, my work for free, mm -hmm. nobody wants it. So, yeah, no, yeah, that's the problem. Sometimes they don't know how to appreciate the things. Yes. Okay. I think that was the last one, right? Yeah. Tanya, did you give your opinion about the last one? Yes, I was before here. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. All right, well, let's continue to the next part, okay? Complete the answers with the clauses in the box. More than one answer may be possible. Okay. Now we use even if, you know, to add special emphasis on something, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay, but so is a negative emphasis or is a positive emphasis? Because un, un, unless I don't understand that it's a negative. Yeah, yeah. The, well, the but next, even, you know, in. In the conditional clauses, you have two clauses, right? You have the condition and then you have the result. Okay, the result would be negative. Like you see in the examples, it would be negative. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So, number one. Would you give money to charity if you were out of work? I had put, uh, I had to put the donation on my credit card. Yeah, I also put that one. Even if, Even I, if had I had to, to put. All right. Remember, remember how I said that. Um, the second clause would be negative. Okay, you see here, it's not, the sentence is not technically yeah. negative, but, but it gives you a negative feeling, right? Well, would you give money to charity if you were out of work? I would do it even if I had to put the money, I put the donation on my credit card. You know, when you do that, it's a bad thing. You don't have any money. And you're going to put yeah. it on credit? That's a bad thing. It gives you a negative feeling, but mm -hmm. it's not technically negative. It's technically it's not negative, but it gives you a negative um, mm. understanding. Okay. 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 Um, see, I don't think so. I would never do it unless. Uh, I put. I have a a very good job. I had a very good job. Yes. Okay, number two, would you ever give up a good position if you had a chance to spend a year traveling? I right, sure, I wouldn't miss a chance like that unless I couldn't find a job when I go back. Mm -hmm. Very good. And never, I wouldn't give up a good position even if. I um, wanted time off work. Yeah. 
Excellent. Three, would you give away your belongings if you had the chance to help someone? I don't think so. I wouldn't give my things away unless... I didn't want I them. Not a few things. No. I didn't want them. I didn't them. want them. It's better, yeah. Yes. And yes, I would. I give my things away even if... I only had a few things. I only had a few things. Yes. All right. Any questions with this? No. Well, did you do the other part of the homework, which was converting your... Sentences. Yeah? Yes. All right. Let's see what you got. It was a third condition. So tell me some of the sentences that you converted, Tanya. Do uh, you want the already converted or both? Both. I want to hear one and one. One and one. One, one and one. one. Okay. In both like options, right? Yeah. Okay. What I write is if coronavirus cases hadn't increased this week, many business would have reopened. That's like the original one. Yeah. And the other one? If coronavirus cases hadn't increased this week, many businesses would have been reopening. Yes, yes. That's actually, that sounds like a news article. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I got inspired about this situation. <laughs> yes. All right. I give another? Yes. Okay. If I had followed the recipe that my friend gave me, the cake that I prepared would have tasted better. And okay. the other, if I had followed the recipe that my friend gave me, the cake that I prepared would have been tasting better. Yes. Yes, yes. And, and the last one, if I have learned French, I will have applied for an internship. And the other, if I had learned French, I would have been applying for an internship. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Tanya. Michelle? Okay, uh, the first one I give you as an example in the last class, but uh, could I repeat it? If the coronavirus hadn't happened, I would have reached Russian. And the new one is if the coronavirus hadn't happened, I would have been reaching Russian. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. yes, I remember that one. Mm -hmm. Second one, if I had had more time in Sicilia, I would have seen the famous watch. If, if I had had more time in Sicilia, I would have been seeing the famous watch. If, yeah. The third one, if I had working early in a ship, I would have visit more countries. If I had working early in a ship, I would have been visiting more countries. Yes, yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you, thank you. All of your conversions are correct. Good job. Now, we, we looked at zero, first, second, and third conditionals. Today we look at the mixed ones, All right? And there are many mixed ones. I think there are nine mixed conditionals. I don't know. I don't know if you've ever seen all of them in one class. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that to your students, but since you are teachers, then you're gonna have to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Yes, but look, never, never teach all the conditionals in one day. Never, never, never do that. <laughs> You're going to saturate your students. <laughs> they will hate English if we do that. <laughs> yeah, they really would. Okay, so we're going to begin with. I guess we're going to begin with three. Okay, we're going to begin with three. In today's lesson, we're going to, well, today is what? June 11, 2020. So. And in this lesson, we're going to practice mixed, well, we're going to practice mixed conditionals. going to write some of them that we're going to practice. We're going to practice past to present. What else? We're going to practice past to future. That one's hard. Um, we're going to practice present to past, we're going to practice present. I keep looking over here because I have my notes over here. <laughs> present to future. Oh my gosh. I remember this. I taught this to some teachers in Mexico City, and it was a crazy class. <laughs> future. To the past yes somehow something that you do in the future could affect your past it's crazy i know and future to the present yes something that you do in the future can affect your present kind of you're going to understand later I'm going to put on my glasses because my eyes are starting to hurt. All right. So, are you ready? Hear me. Yes, first, I would like for you to take um, some deep breaths. Uh, I'm not joking. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, let's begin with number one. One is the past, the present. Okay. I'm going to give you an example. If I had known, if I had known that you were single, if I had known you were single, I would be at the club with you. I 
if I had taken that opportunity five years ago, I would be living a different life style. Can you see that or should I make it bigger? No, it's okay. Okay. Anya? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Now, what does it mean by the past and the present? The past and the present. We have a past conditional. And you know with the past conditional, we use the past perfect. Mm -hmm. And the present condition, well, in the present result, we use with and a verb. If I hadn't bought pizza, I would order tacos tonight, but it's too much junk food. All right. So, you know, let's, let's just take a little moment to, to, how can I say, analyze these sentences, right? Okay, remember, you know, a conditional clause is two clauses put together, mm -hmm. right? Basically, two sentences, two complete ideas combined together. One of them is conditional, and the other one is the result, right? Or what could be the result. Mm -hmm. Look at the conditional part, the one with if. What do you notice about the, the verb tense? What is the verb tense after if? After if is past participle. Past participle is only a verb. And this one is past perfect. Past perfect. Had and the uh, verb past participle, like you said. Yeah. Okay. And now after the mm -hmm. comma, what do you notice? You use... It's the second one is continuous, right? No. Yeah, yeah. It's yes. Continuous. Mm -hmm. But what, what is a tense in? What I mean by that is this. In the first one, you have past perfect. In the next one, you have would verb. Would verb, or if it's continuous, it can be would be verb ing. But remember, like I said yesterday, is would the continuous and the simple form is the same thing, except that one of them is expressing that it is, you know, continuing at the moment of speaking. It is ongoing. So now th this one is easy to understand because something that you do that you did in the past or didn't do in the past can affect your present. That is easy to understand. All right. So what I would like for you to do now is write one example about your life like the one I said about my pizza. If I hadn't ordered this pizza, I would order tacos tonight. My past action affected my present action. Okay, let me know when you're finished. Just one, right? Yeah, just one example is fine.
Okay, I have one. Okay. I right. If I hadn't su subscribed to this course, I would be going out with my dog at this time. Okay. Can you repeat it again? If I hadn't subscribed to this course, I would be going out with my dog at this time. Yes, very good. And, and I'm sorry that you can't <laughs> go out with your dog right now. He can miss me. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good example. Yeah. But for example, in these kind of sentences, we can add this like, this that we say like at this time or today or those kind of moment that say that is at this moment, it's okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me, let me check. If I hadn't taken a good shower, I wouldn't be getting sick. Okay, yes. If I hadn't taken a cold shower, I wouldn't be getting sick. Are you sick right now? Kind of, kind of. I start to feel my truck. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Right now, right now you're in Veracruz, right? Yep. Is the weather is really hot over there? No. Today is cloudy, but yeah. on the other place that I came from, uh, my sister's house is raining day. So I, I took a cold, a cold shower and then the raining again. So I'm starting to feel sick. Uh, I understand. Okay. You wanna... That's a good example. That's a good example. Now, how do you feel about this? Is it difficult? Yes. Yes? What's difficult about it? I don't remember that, this mixed conditional. Yeah, like, um, it's, very, it's a very difficult topic. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you went to a school to learn this, I am pretty sure that they didn't teach it specifically like this. this is, it's a difficult topic, very difficult, very difficult, but common in, in movies and stuff like that and it is something that you can use because it is in fact true something in the past can affect your present that's what this is talking about all right now you say it's a little difficult so i would like for you to write two more examples of this all right tanya okay two more you know, now it can be about you or it can be about a close um, friend or a relative.
two more, right? Okay. Yeah, you ready? I finished. Yeah. All right, let's see what you got. Okay. If Katya hadn't give us, given us jelly, I would, I would be uh, 13, 13, 13 hungry. Can you repeat that one again? Okay. If Katya hadn't given us jelly, I could be feeling hungry. Okay, hey, very good. Yes, you think? The grammar is good. You're talking about gelatinas. Yeah. It's jello. Jello? Okay. Like the brand? Jello. If my at, least, in, at least in American English, it's jello. You are the teacher. If my father hadn't driven past the last part of the route, I couldn't be on time to my class. You wouldn't be on time to your class, okay. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, number two. Oh, number two, sorry. Tanya? Yeah, my yeah. door. Okay. Yes, I was about uh, to continue with number two. Okay. If my mom hadn't ordered her glasses, she would be having too much pain in her eyes. Okay. I have a question there. I can okay. say also she would have too much pain in her eyes, right? Instead of she, she would be having, I can also say she would have. Pain in her eyes. Yes. Right? Yeah, for example, what I wrote is, if my mom hadn't bought her glasses, she would have, she would be having too much pain in her eyes with the gerund, with the, yeah. But yeah. I can also say, if my mom hadn't bought her glasses, she would have too much pain in her eyes. Oh, that's correct. Okay. Okay. That was and the second one, if I hadn't talked to my friend until late last night, I would be feeling better right now. All right. Very good. Yes. Now, both of you gave me two examples that are 100% correct. So, from my perspective, you you understand it. You understand it. I know it's very difficult to feel 100% sure about new things, but right now you understand it, okay? Now, th this is the thing though, this is the thing. And the exam is not going to show you, or it's not going to say, uh, complete this with the past present conditional. No, in, in the exam you have to, you know, kind of use logic, you know, is this talking about the past to affect my present or is it talking about past to affect the past? You know, you have to use your own logic, mm -hmm. right? Well, let's go with the second conditional. The second conditional is past, future. This one is also pretty easy to understand because, well, yes, your past affects your future. Your past will always affect your future. So let me give you some examples of the past futures. If I had known that you were coming tomorrow, I would be cleaning.
if I had known that you weren't checking my homework, I wouldn't be so stressed. This one is a little complicated in terms of structure. If you see, we have had known. Let, let me tell it to you in Spanish. Or how about you try to tell it to me in Spanish? Tanya? Mm -hmm. If I had known that you were coming tomorrow, I would be cleaning. So I translate it in Spanish? Yeah, tell me, how would you translate it? I would translate, si hubieran sabido que venías mañana, hubiese limpiado. Yes. Yes, that is exactly it. Right now, it's it's confusing because it's the past, but it says tomorrow. But tomorrow is what makes it future for the next sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this works for hubiera sabido. Hubiera sabido. All right. Now this one is not common in English. Except when you want to express a point, no? Si quieres expresar un punto, ah, si hubiera sabido que iba a salir mañana, pues hubiera limpiado la casa un poquito más. Si hubiera sabido que iba a salir mañana, no me no me estaría gastando tanto dinero hoy. Right? So, can you write one? Example, please. Uh, I have a question. In these kind of sentences, we always like write one word that refers to the future. Like for example, tomorrow, next week, it has always to be there, right? 
Yes, unless unless you already know what we are talking about. Like if we're having a conversation about tomorrow, then I can say, ah, oh, if I had known you were coming, I would be cleaning. But that's okay. because our conversation is about tomorrow. We don't have to say tomorrow again and again. Okay. This one example, I, we, we can't make a lot of examples with this. Continue. Uh, now. Continue. Continue. Uh, my example is like if I had known, uh, has known that the class wasn't continue, but I need ENG. So continue is a noun, could be a verb. How you can conjugate with. ENG, continuing, continuing, no. Continuing. Continuing. I never hear it. Continuing. Yeah. Okay. Where? Can you repeat it again? <clears throat> if I had known that the class wasn't continuing tomorrow, I... Okay. How many uh, sentences do you want? Just one. Just one. Okay. I got. It. If if I had known that the class wasn't continuing tomorrow, I wouldn't be canceling my date. Yeah, I wouldn't be canceling my date. Okay. Yes. Yes. And Tanya? Okay, I have one. I write, if I had known that my mom was planning to go out this weekend, I wouldn't buy so much stuff for cooking. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. And here we go, number three. Present past, present past. Now, I remember this one. 
Mexico City. Um, it, it's a very difficult concept because you know how can something in the present affect your past? It's a little more complicated than that. Here is an example. If if she had enough money, she would have. She would have been, she would have gone to Cancun with her friends. If she had more money, she would have gone to Cancun with her friends or girl. If she had studied more All right. if she studied more she would have gone to top here, schools. Yeah, let me explain this. This first part, this condition of if she had more money, if she studied more, these are kind of interpreted as permanent things you know permanent things like she never has enough money sounds cruel but she never has enough money um, if she studied more she doesn't study you know that's just her personality in this case you know so because that is how, that, that is something that how she is, how it's permanent, then it's the present because it's just something about her. You know, something permanent about me is um, I have brown hair. That's why in the present I have brown hair. I've always had brown hair, you know, it's permanent. You know, here in these sentences, we are understanding that she, does, she doesn't study that much and she doesn't have money, enough money. And that these are usually permanent things for her. And that's why we consider it present. Now, if you remember, you know, for conditionals to talk about the present, you use the verb in the simple past. That's why we have had, and we have studied in the simple past, All right? So for this, it would be simple past plus past perfect. If I were taller and skinnier, that means I'm not that tall and I'm not that skinny, I would have tried to be a model, okay? If I were taller and skinnier, I would have tried to be a model. But because permanently I'm not that tall, and I am not that skinny. I didn't try to be a model. If I were 
faster, I would have joined a soccer team. You know, permanently, I'm not a fast person. So I didn't join the soccer team. If I didn't have classes, I would have slept more, uh, two more hours. Because I always have classes, so I can't sleep too much. You know, these, these things are about me, you know. Because of what I have in the present, because of what's real, because of what's in front of me, it affects the things in the past, you know, the opportunities that I had. All right. I remember my grandfather, my grandfather uses this a lot in, in Spanish. He says something like, no, it's the tío por inteligente. Oh, my dear. It's the tío por inteligente. Él hubiera estudiado una carrera. Like, damn, grandpa. <laughs> and he, sometimes he say it in his face. Like, damn. Yeah, that's true. To my grandpa, my uncle is not smart. So he didn't um, major in a career. Um, can you write one example about yourself and one example about a family member or
Okay, I think that I finished. All right, Michelle, could you share yours with us? Okay. Uh, if my sister didn't born, we would have traveled to many places. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. No problem. Okay, second one. If I were studying more in the university, I wouldn't have talked this course. Okay. Very good. Remember, taken. Taken? Okay. We have taken this course. Okay. 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 So, I have mine also. I uh, write, if I were taller, I will have applied to become a flight attendant. And the second one, if my brother were funnier, he would have found a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's... Very good, very good. All right. Well, I think I have enough time to show you one more mixed conditional. All right. One more. Oh, sorry. Can I erase everything? Yes. Yes, Michelle? The last conditional for the day. The present to the future. Now this one, this one's pretty logical. What you do today will affect your future. Okay. Now the first one is advice. First one is if I were you, I would go to that concert tomorrow. That's advice. But the second one is more like like a wish. If I had more money, I would rent a yacht for the weekend. Okay. If I had a car. I would drive to Costa Chica or Chilate. On Sunday, because that's the best day for Chilate and Bolivia con relleno. Michelle, in Veracruz, do they have Bolivia con relleno? Again, please. In Veracruz, do they have bolillo con relleno? Torta? Is that what you call it? Mm, I don't know. Maybe a bolillo is a bread, and you put like a sandwich, jam, mayonnaise, lettuce. Relleno, like relleno de, de puerco, relleno de pollo. Mm, no, like that. If you want, you can put it inside but it's like a torta torta a chicken oh. torta a pork torta bar so, barbecue torta but it's not that common no in the middle of my state no maybe in other places more close to puebla is common for example the torta de tamal yeah yes but Bolillo con relleno, no. What about chimpancingo, Tanya? 
Uh, I have heard about it, but okay. I'm not the kind of person that eat that one a lot. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, it's not that healthy. <laughs> so, I have one question. Yes. Yeah. Is this one the same one that the second conditional? Like, it's similar? Like yeah. this structure? Exactly. Yeah, in the second. Yeah, yeah. right. It's just that the, the second conditional, usually it's for the present. Mm -hmm. But sometimes in rare occasions, you can use it for the future too, like here. Okay. And that's when it becomes a mixed conditional. Okay. But it, it has the same structure. And you can also use it with continuous, would be going, would be driving, okay. would be renting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. One example of this one, since it's easy, mm. off the top of your head. If I had money, I would buy a TV. Okay. Yes, for the weekend, right? Maybe to watch Yeah. Netflix series. Yeah. And Michelle? I'm thinking about it and thinking. Okay. If I, if I had a huge house, I would plant in uh carrots you would plant carrots yeah for your bunny for your sister's bunny no no my god this guy you i need that you explain me the the trick of the um, the box again because i understand certain things and i try to explain to my sister and she said no it's not possible that the rabbit eat and pull and pee in the same place Yes, it is possible, trust me. <laughs> and I watched it on a YouTube video and I did it with my rabbit and it worked. All right, so you know, okay, this is this is a box, right? But usually it's the boxes for clothes, no, no, not carton, it's plastic, right? Yes, we, we need to, the, the, the top, the again, you need the full box or you need only the container, not the cup. Uh, the, the full thing, the full okay. thing is better. Okay, and then, and then you make it like a little, you're going to need some scissors or a knife to make a hole right there, right? And then like in the inside, over here is going to have like, like a little, I don't know how to describe it. In, for example, in mine, I put like a little box. Other box inside this box? Yeah. Okay, so okay. this next one is um, a box. This right here. I guess I can. Okay, so that brown thing is the hole. It goes inside. And then in here in this, in this box, half. Half of it is food. And you know, they usually eat the vegetables or the hay. So I put half food and then like over here, 
in this side of the box, I make like a little hole. Okay, so you have two boxes with holes for the rabbit. Yeah. The box inside is other box where the rabbit enter for eating. Yes, yes. Okay. So, hold on. Let me show you. All right. So we have this type of box, you know, for clothes and stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And um, let's see. Right here, you make like a hole. Okay. Okay. And your bunny is gonna go inside. And in here, you have like a some type of container. And in that container, you're going to put the the food, and you're gonna have a little place. Like half of it is gonna be food, and the other half is gonna be, you know, clear. Because while while the bunny eats, it poops, and it pees. It's a very weird habit of a rabbit. They eat while they poop, or they poop while they eat. Okay, if you say and, that, um, because your rabbit eat in certain place, sleep in other place, and poo and pee in other place, different places. Yes, but you, you can easily train it. It would take like probably two weeks to train it. And wh wh if he poops in the, in the kitchen, what you can do is you grab like a spray bottle like this, half vinegar, half water, and you spray it on the, on the floor so it can clean the smell and they can they don't go back to the same place because we if you only clean it with water it's not they, they can, can smell it bleach. you can use what and again i'm trying to use in bleach for cleaning that area it's yeah. okay or is with vinegar i think well vinegar is what they recommend because bleach can be strong for your rabbit but yeah, which is okay. okay. As long as the smell is gone, you know the vinegar okay. is good for that. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna cost you maybe two hundred pesos for this, but you won't have any more poop and pee everywhere, and you gotta okay. be patient. Well, <laughs> ladies, come on. Thank you. <laughs> your homework is to send me an audio on WhatsApp. Reading three examples for each conditional. From today's lesson. You know, so today we look we looked at four different conditionals. We looked at the past to present, past to future, present to past, and present to future. Okay. So what you're going to do is each conditional is in a different audio. So for the past to present, um, if I had da da da, -da I would da da da. -da. Mm -hmm. And then that's one audio. The next conditional, past, future. All right? All right. So it will be four audios. Yeah, four audios in total. Four. Exactly. Okay. So just one more question about this last one that we saw, the present, future. So if this one that the case before, we also have to specify that is like when it's going to happen, right? Unless uh, it is in the context or exactly. it's not necessary. Yeah, it's necessary, exactly. right? Yes. Okay. So just that one. Good. good question, good question. All right, ladies. All right. Thank you. Um, I will Thank see you. you on Monday. All right. All, All right. right. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Be safe. Same to you. Thank you.